Genshin is such a beautiful game. The scenery, music, voice acting, and a waifus to die for. And as a new player, I wanted to start my journey with an advantage. Rather cute one at that. But being from Ukraine, money is pretty tight. But thankfully, there is a free way to satisfy your little weeb dreams. Rerolling. Obviously, I looked up guides, wanting to do it more efficient. And I was shocked. How can someone with 18 guides to their name? No, you do not need some shady disposable email. Gmail will do just fine thanks to its dot blindness. You can register hundreds of accounts using just one email, 32 character limit, including dots, and you can have multiple dots. Cutscenes, yes, they are unskippable, and you could probably derp around like all the other reroll guide creators. Or you know, spend this time efficiently creating new accounts pre-filling user credentials. You have about a minute till your first possible interaction. Plenty of time to even make a mistake in the captcha while grabbing a snack. I recommend setting your game to a smaller window. This way you don't have to alt tab like crazy and you can have something to entertain yourself while also decreasing the mouse travel distance. Change the graphics to the lowest quality, manually adjusting even further. If you have an SSD, make sure that 40% of its capacity is free and unused. Otherwise, it might not be performing at its best. In Google Docs, I make a list of all the future emails. Select one, Ctrl X to cut it out. Post it in account registration. Use one password for all the accounts. Make a keybind, not to waste time and keystrokes. What's great about using the website, you can zoom in on the captcha. My email is already opened and waiting for the verification code. Copy paste. Then copy the email. Start logging into the game. As the animations rolls, pre-fill the websites with your login info. Don't actually log in. Come back to the game and start the cutscene. Now you can log in and solve the captcha. The daily works right as the cutscene starts. Close the one more step pop-up. While you can log into the code redemption website, it only starts giving you primos when you choose a twin. So just pick your server and let your keybind enter Genshin gift. Don't worry, when you're actually doing it, it's pretty easy and fast. And since you have another minute after the twin pick, you can do some stretching and blinking so your eyes don't dry up. Fun fact, Ether has an advantage for re-rolling, but I will still choose his sister any day. Yay! Finally, we are in the game. Please, don't waste your time. I'll explain everything you need. Those teleports have a pretty big range. You don't have to run into them. As long as you get inside the bush, you're golden. Whenever you see these thingies, left click once for teal, spam for gold. Run forest run, I'll be covering movement a bit later. To trigger the cutscene, you can go pretty much anywhere in the marked area. Saves you time and requires no additional effort. How can someone do 744 rerolls and not know this is beyond me. <sighs> Stuff like this is pretty much why I started my channel in the first place. Out of literally 100 light bulb reviews that I watched, no one cared to actually test them with a light meter. No matter how good it looks, if it doesn't do its job, it's trash. Just like most screen bar reviews out there. Well, anyways, we get a small cutscene. You see the thingy, you spam. The most efficient spamming technique is keybinding your scroll wheel. The camera is a bit wonky, so be careful not to dash into Narnia. Follow the rocks for a guaranteed Paimon activation. For the sake of your sanity, just follow Paimon. Don't try to get ahead, as you will likely make a mistake that will result in a time net loss in the end. And boom! Stamina restored after the small cutscene. There is a little trick. Once you are swimming, dash and spam W. Half a minute cutscene to take care of yourself. Put a glass of water next to you so you don't forget. And blink. Yes, many actually do stop blinking while gaming. You might have noticed that after the screen blacks out, you usually have an interaction awaiting. An easy trigger to remember. Finally, the first time we actually say something. Don't skip. Perhaps you saw something on my monitor. This, my friends, is probably the biggest quality of life improvements in the guide, as all but one dialogue can be spammed in this one spot. So you can watch movies or whatever without thinking where you should position the mouse. Makes brain AFK so much easier. Combined with the scroll wheel spam and knowing that you only need to spam after a blackout really makes rerolling a breeze. Those transparent bookmarks were the best, but a regular cell tape with a piece of paper stuck to it will also do. Yeah, slimes. Press E. And since you are on cooldown, take a few steps back closer to the rock. A good visual cue is just before the reeds, or whatever that tall grass is called. As you do the charge E, also press the Q without changing the camera angle, and then without looking, go into the water. 
try to avoid diving, as animations take time. The swim trick should only be used if you can bunny hop with your stamina, aka the most efficient movement method in the game. It works better the bigger you are in size, and counterproductive in small females, also harder to do with teenage girls. And that's why all speedrunners take effort. But we are on a marathon, and just takes too much effort, and we get stamina refreshed quite often, so I just dash another minute long cutscene. A perfect time to promote my future OnlyFans video. It's getting hot, 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 so you might be interested in a portable fan. I ordered dozens, USB powered, neck fans, cheap fans, hand crank fans, fans designed to be used with your phone, leafless, even folding beauty mirrors with lights and obviously fans. All the fans expect as much detail and effort as with this guide. Test it with a sound meter, wind meter, duration of the battery, plus I already have 75 various reviews, check them out. Maybe something will prove useful, use my affiliate links to support me or donate directly with PayPal or buy me a coffee. Subscribing, liking, commenting or sharing this video will also help and will be very appreciated. The blackout before interaction rule works here too and you get your stamina refreshed all the time. So go go go, Amber awaits. 2 R shoot shoot, just shoot a couple times in case you miss. In 100 rerolls I did, I noticed that shooting a bit down seems to be more efficient. Ignore the chest, it doesn't give anything you need, and run run run. The waypoint can be activated at the edge of the flowers, but since we're getting interrupted by the small cutscene, spam F once it's over, or you risk missing it. Combining embers and travel discharge attack makes a reaction, which will KO the three enemies at the camp. Charge and headshot the one on the tower, run in and line of sight the enemies right here so they group up. Charge attack and boom, they are dead. Ember starts talking straight away, so spam as they die. And when the screen blacks out again, spam the map button. It's a good idea to keybind it somewhere closer as you'll need it a few times. There are three more keybinds you'll be using, J and F3 once, F5 twice, and I guess this key button counts? Now we just go to the city. Bunny hopping here truly shines, but so does Lumine's pretty face. There is a total of 410 seconds of downtime from cutscenes where you can't interact, probably more, since I didn't count the loading screens and the cut-ins. So 7 minutes minimum. Let me ask you a question. Do you have a smartphone from 2017 or perhaps something more recent? You see? Genshin is a multi-platform game, and even if your phone can't handle actual gameplay, it sure can trigger the starting cutscenes. That alone is 130 seconds saved on each run, and if it can, why not run to the next objective during the downtime? Leave frogging pretty much. And if you're a pro gamer like me, you don't even have to wait for the cutscenes. Getting a keyboard helps. This one even has a built-in phone cradle, and the small one was just $2 on AliExpress. Bunny Girl starts talking from the get-go. Spam and prepare to open and close the quest menu. J and escape, then dash ASAP. Even doing it brain AFK, it's super fast. And if you actually focus, pretty much instant. And yes, I actually have to slow down all the time, so you can see what's actually going on. Now grab the waypoint and follow this route. The most effective jump can be done right at the joint of the third section. But if you're low on stamina, go more left. Climb to the first ledge and regen your stamina fully. This will let you spam jump till the very top after. Spam and get ready to press W, space and the map keybind. Keep pressing W, so in case you fail to nail the timing, you won't be stuck like this. If you do it right, you only get this after the portal, but since you're moving, you don't even notice. Jump down without animation. Here we get a long cutscene, so switch to your phone or just chill, until you see this button light up and then now concentrate text line. It overshoots, so I target below the tail. Pew pew pew, and relax. Don't forget to blink. Aww, she's so cute! Spam spam spam. Pick Ember and glide to climb onto the tower to get the waypoint. While you need to climb on the very edge, the ledge of the second floor is not safe to rest. So go a bit right for the landing. Regen stamina, climb. Regen stamina, finish. Grab the waypoint and the fancy chest. Get down. But be careful of the balcony or not to talk to Paimon. Finally, the last cutscene. Spam, spam, spam. And now you just have to collect everything. Your mail and achievements from the Paimon menu. Adventure rank rewards at the guild. This, by the way, is the only place you actually need to move your mouse for the dialogue. And complete one test run. Do the 8 wish 10 pool new banner and 4 wishes on the standard banner. Depending on what drops, you might get 1 to 3 wishes in dust. Plus 2 guaranteed wishes from the Primogems. 
obviously. We are buying the interwine variety, and as you use them up, you will likely get enough dust to purchase an additional wish. <laughs> Welcome home, darling! You might run into the too many connections error from changing a dozen accounts in a short time. To deal with it on Windows, you'll need to open Common Prompt with admin rights. And copy paste the stuff I'll leave in the description. Afterwards, restart your computer. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is what I call a real guide. With just one week of Genshin experience, I can do like two runs without even trying. Watching anime and singing. <laughs> which is actually voiced by Ayaka. Well, they're still finishing their first. And I'll be using all of the 100 accounts to see how many IAIs I can get. Subscribe not to miss. And I guess if these videos get enough support, I might as well do more Genshin guides. See ya!